change the perception of our city. I want the camera to take a pan of the hands to the right. My name is Jerickson Lawrence. Welcome to Charter Revision, the process. So why do we have Charter Revision? Ideally, it's to allow an examination and analysis of the government structure and operation by an independent commission to determine whether the public interest is being properly served. I'm sure you've all heard uh, MLK from back in the 60s, but I'll kind of change it a little to fit our theme here. He indicated that the measure of a people is not where they stand in times of comfort and convenience, but rather where they stand in times of challenge and controversy. And that's where we are today. When I look at each and every one of you, I know you share the same passion for this city as I do. We have to hold ourselves accountable when we look at the challenges before us. We know that some of it is political, but another component of that is systemic. It's been here for a while, and it's always to an outdated charter. And some of it always comes back to the charter says. The charter, no one explains to you what that means. The charter says. So now is our opportunity to do something about that. And I'm excited. Um, I'm all for efficient government. And I believe that setting this charter um, off to the right path will help the government run more smoothly. We have to make this change, I think, expediently. But it has to be done right. And I think it has to include and be inclusive of all stakeholders. We need to cast a wide net. Depending on where you live in our community, your perspective is different. So we want geographic diversity. We also want gender and ethnic diversity, thought diversity, because groupthink isn't really going to work in this kind of setting. We're going to challenge ourselves. And last but not least, we're going to seek out input from our city council members. They ought to have a say in this process as well. The major takeaway here is that we, as Mount Vernon Heights, we have the opportunity to choose through this process the form of government that works best for us.